Hi, I'm Dr. Andrea Hatcher, and today I'm going to talk about pugs. You know the phrase, pug ugly? Well, it's actually in reference to a breed of dog that's so ugly that even their own mothers would have to admit it. Now, don't get me wrong, I love pugs. I have one. But one of this breed's virtues isn't beauty. Pugs are brachycephalic, which is medical speak for has no nose to speak of. They generally run between 14 to 25 pounds. They are black or apricot or silver fawn, which is tan with a black mask. Pugs, pugs have bulging eyes, and the result looks like a furry hyperthyroid patient that has run into a wall. I have a little pug, and his name is Inspector Clouseau, and I often tell him that you can't have brains and beauty. Unfortunately, he doesn't have either, but pugs do have personality in spades. When it comes to personality, pugs are the mastiff of the dog world. They love everybody and everything all of the time. I met my first pug at the veterinary clinic where I worked at when I was in veterinary school. The pug's name was Pugsley. Pugsley was older than dirt. He must have been 300 years old. Like most other pugs, he loved everybody. But the poor senile thing was a little confused when it came to going to the bathroom. He would squat to pee and lift his leg to poop. He'd lift his stubby little rear leg higher and higher until he toppled over, and he would do this every single time. Another pug named Pee Wee decided that he'd lift his leg like the big dogs, except his backyard was a steep hill, so he lifted his leg and went rolling down the hill. It must be a pug thing. I had a pug <clears throat> who was named Frodo, and his mother was a fawn and black pug named Zaza and she was a heavyweight when it came to breeding. She waddled into our clinic looking like a watermelon on legs. Breedographs showed six puppies, which is a lot for a 25-pound dog. Because of their smashed-in faces, pugs have tiny nostrils and shortened tracheas, or breathing tubes. As a result, the noise they make, even while breathing, is amazing. They snore while they're awake. So they snore, gasp, and wheeze while sleeping. If you're a light sleeper, then a pug isn't a good companion for you. Pugs may suffer from allergies, skin infections, and the wrinkles in their faces, and their bulging eyes are susceptible to damage. Despite their ugliness, or maybe because of it, pugs are adored by their owners. They don't require a lot of space, they usually run out of breath before too long anyway, and their cheerful disposition makes them a good pet.